Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 21. But I'll try to solve using the implicit function. So y is equal to tan inverse of this. So I can write the same thing as 3x minus x cube this guy by 1 minus 3x square this guy. The whole thing is nothing but tan y. I can write this. Can't I? Can I? Yeah, I can write this. So if I can write this guy as this value, I can use the implicit function now to solve it. Right? Because I have a equation in terms of x and y. I can use the implicit function and solve this kind of equation. But to make my life simple, if you observe one thing, tan y, I can write as nothing but, I'll just show you what. Tan y is nothing but tan 3 into y by 3. And this is nothing but 3 tan y by 3 minus tan y by 3 q by 1 minus 3 tan square y by 3. This is the formula which I have. Correct? Now if you compare this guy with this guy, everything is exactly same, only x is equal to y by 3. Sorry, x is equal to tan y by 3. So if you compare these two formula, they are exactly same. x is equal to tan y by 3. Please note. Now I have got a simpler relation in term of x and y and I can find dy by dx in a simpler way. So this is one example. What we do is we try to find a simpler relationship from a complex relationship. If we get a simpler relationship in terms of x and y, we can use that relationship to find dy by dx. So let's do this. So directly I can do, in this case if you see, x is equal to tan y by 3 or y by 3 is tan inverse of x or y is equal to 3 tan inverse x. Finding d by dx is very simple for me. It is nothing but 3 by 1 plus square. That is my answer because for y is equal to tan inverse x, y dash is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x square. This formula we know. So what I have done here in this case, you should have solved, you can, you can do that also. That will also give you correct answer. This one you multiply with this, you get one complex equation in terms of x and y, solve it, differentiate it, and then we'll get the same answer. But the smart part here was, just by looking at this particular equation, this particular point on this, you can just make out that this was equal to tan 3 into y by 3. Correct? Because tan 3x is nothing but 3 tan x minus tan x cubed by 1 minus 3 tan square. So with that, I converted this complex equation into this comp. I won't say I converted this complex into this, in this equation. I can say that I derived one more relation into between x and y. That is, I found a simpler relation between x and y. See, for me to find dy by dx, I just need a relationship between x and y. So if I have one relationship between x and y, I can very easily find the dy by dx. So in this case also, we wanted to find dy by dx. What I did was, I found a simpler relation between x and y and found dy by dx. Let's take one more example. This case, let's try to solve without using smarter techniques. We can use here also, but let's try to solve without using smarter techniques. Let, let's use the uh, composite kind function kind of formula here because it's a composite function. This is, let, let's put this guy as t. 
So I have got one equation. Y is equal to cos inverse t is my first equation. And second equation is t is equal to 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square. So I've got two equations. So in first equation I'll get dy by dt. And from second equation I'll get dt by dx. I multiply these two and I get dy by dx, correct? This is kind of example we have done is using composite function because this is a composite function. So let's find dy by dt. So if y is equal to cos inverse t, my, my dy by dt is nothing but minus 1 by root 1 minus t square. This is my dy by dt. And t square if you want, instead of t I can put this guy. So this becomes minus 1 by root 1 minus 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square, the whole thing square. This is my dy by dt. Let's find dt by dx. So t is equal to this. I have to find dt by dx. This is simple because this is u by v form actually if you see. So what I can do is I can say v square that is 1 plus x square whole square. Differentiate this guy that is d by dx of 1 minus x square. You multiply with this guy 1 plus x square minus you, know, you take this guy the first guy 1 minus x square and multiply with the differentiation of the second guy dy dx of 1 plus x square. Correct? Sorry. So that's what you get if you solve this further this becomes nothing but minus 2x this is 0 this becomes minus 2x into 1 plus x square minus 1 minus x square into this becomes 0 plus 2x this becomes 2x the whole thing divided by 1 plus x square whole square so now I have to add these two and solve so my I can just say dy by dx is nothing but dy by dt into dt by dx. Sorry, you have to multiply these two. So dy by dt is this guy. So minus 1 by root of this guy whole thing 1 minus 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square whole square and dt by dx is this guy. So if you, this guy is nothing but if you solve this further, can I cut something? Is minus two. This is minus two x actually, right? Yeah, minus two x, minus two x, and this is uh, minus two x. This is minus two x cube, and this is plus two x cube. Correct. So I can cut these part. So I what I get is minus four x here minus 4x by 1 plus x squared to the power of x squared. Same thing I got minus 4x and minus minus cancel. So this is my value. Thus I have to solve this further. So if you solve this further what you get is 1 plus x squared you get in the denominator and this guy becomes root of 1 plus x squared whole square minus 1 minus x squared whole square correct into 4x by 1 plus x squared to the power 2. So this and this gets cancelled. So if you solve this 1 plus x square whole square minus 1 minus x square whole square this is nothing but a square minus b square. So this will be a plus b into a minus b. So if you see a plus b this becomes 1 plus x square plus 1 minus x square into a minus b 1 plus x square minus 1 plus x square. This gets cancelled and this gets cancelled. So you get 2 into 2x square. That is 4x square. So this is 4x square. And the whole thing is root. The whole thing is root. So root 4x square is nothing but 2x. So this whole thing is nothing but 2x. You can solve it. So this is nothing but 1 by 2x into 4x by 1 plus x square. This gets cancelled. You get 2 here. So the answer is 2 by 1 plus x squared.
and that is my answer. So what I have done, I have solved this question using composite function funda. So I assume this whole thing 1 minus x square by 1 plus x square is t and then solve this. So the, the, the reason why I solved the last three questions in the last in the, in the three different ways is in, in the world of derivation you can solve the derivation using any formula. You can use the chain rule, division rule, you can use the, the implicit way, explicit way, you can use um, either trigonometric if, if trigonometric functions are there. You can use any way. In fact, I'll explain more uh, ways, the logarithmic way we'll do in uh, next video, I think. Using which you can solve the question. So there are so many ways to solve the same question and get the same answer. Let's take one more example. Here y is equal to sec inverse. 1 by 2x square minus 1. So here also, let's do one thing, let's try to find an easy relation between x and y because that is the easy way. But in that case, you have to think a little bit. So first thing is, let's write sec y as this whole thing. So I'll the same thing I can write as sec y as 1 minus 2x square minus 1. Correct? sec y is cos y actually so because I'm more comfortable with sine and cos so I like this guy as cos y as 2x squared minus 1. Correct? Because sec y is 1 by cos y so correct sec y is 1 by cos y. So you get cos y as 2x squared minus 1. Now if you see I get x x Square is if you see x as or x square is 1 plus cos y by 2 and 1 plus cos y by 2 I know is nothing but cos square y by 2. Correct? 1 plus cos square by 2 is nothing but cos square y by 2. Thus I can get this relation x is equal to cos y by 2. Correct? So I have got a simpler relationship between x and y. So I can say as y by 2 is nothing but cos inverse x or y is equal to 2 cos inverse x. So I've got a very good relation between x and y. So finding y dash is very simple for me. y dash is nothing but 2 by root 1 minus x square into minus 1. So minus 2. And that is my answer. So the challenge here was we convert, we derude this equation to get a simpler relation between x and y. The moment I got y is equal to fx kind of thing in a very simple form, I just wrote y is equal to 2 cos inverse x and thus y dash is 2 by root 1 minus x square because I use the formula if y is equal to cos inverse x, y dash is nothing but minus of root 1 minus x square. So using this formula, I just got this answer. So in this question also, you can use any other way. You can go for the lengthier way or you can assume this thing as t. You'll get uh, sec y is equal to t and then you can solve, you can get dy by dt and then dt by dx because t is in this form. Multiply and get the answer. Or in some case, we use the smarter, see this case, this possible, this steps are not possible for all the questions. Only for some question where we can rewrite this complex equations into simpler equations. Then only this is possible. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.